I got me a Hasbro Dungeons and Dragons cartoon Hank. Let's crack it open. <laughs> Greetings, toy heads, and welcome to another episode of Go Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams, here on the Digitally Remastered Network, the action figure show about news, reviews, collecting tips, customizations, kit bashing, everything that goes into this fun, nerdy hobby that you and I both love. And in this episode, we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Hasbro Dungeons & Dragons cartoon series, Hank. I uh, got the whole set coming. Uh, that, was my, uh, that was my thing on Prime Day on Amazon. They had everything on sale, so I picked up uh, Hank, Diana, Sheila, Bobby, uh Presto and Eric. Uh, Presto and Eric are on pre-order still. So, uh, and then uh, also Dungeon Master and Venger. So they are coming. But let's take a look at Hank since this is the one that I have here now. I'm glad he was the first because you know he's sort of the leader. <clears throat> and uh, this is a packaging that I am not familiar with at all. Uh, but we have a card back with a box on it. Uh, there you can see the artwork from the uh, cartoon. And then there is the entrance to the ride and everything. You got that whole artwork thing going on. Dungeons and Dragons, 40, I guess 40 years, Dungeons and Dragons. And uh, there we have a picture of the figure and the uh, artwork there on the front of the little, like what would be like the blister pack. Uh, down at the bottom, we've got Choking Hazard. Don't put Hank in your mouth. You poke yourself with that arrow. Uh, and uh, Hasbro, ages 4 plus, plastic-free packaging. And then uh, on the side here, we've got some more of the artwork from the animated series. And uh, then here on the back, we've got, uh, if this will stand up, uh, uh, we've got another picture of the figure and the accessories that it comes with. And uh, a picture of there's Bobby and Diana also from the set. And they uh, all have them, I think, Tuesday. Well, the, the Tuesday that's, that's uh, now is already passed because I'm recording this ahead of time. Uh, Jibbery jabbery legal jargon all over the place. Uh, down, I, we have no age warning. Really? Can't do that on this one? Is it on the bottom? Oh, it's on the bottom. We'll get there. Uh, so we got Jibbery Jabbery Legal Jargon, Barcode, Houses of Klingon, Hasbro. This is not wanting to stand up. It's wanting to fall over, so I'm having to hold it with my finger. Uh, and, uh, yeah, all that. And then on the bottom, more Jibbery Jabbery Legal Jargon and ages 0 to 3. You know what that means. If your child is not born yet, they shouldn't play with these toys. That's right. You're welcome. And we're ready to open it up. Uh, let's get trusty pew and go through the tape on the bottom we got two pieces of tape I got one of them there there's the other okay that should open it I don't know uh, again I'm not familiar with this packaging so this is a brand new adventure all right and we got a troublesome tab here there we go okay flap flap pull the tray out and there we go. Okay, we have an accessory bag. Well, this one's taped. Well, I'm just going to rip it open. Ah, well, that's interesting. The... Hmm, okay. Well, we'll get to that. A little bit of a disappointment there. Okay, I'm just going to... Let's just rip this. get him out here. Yay, there we go. Okay. Take all of this stuff and stuff it. Oh, I see the stupid piece of paper in there. It didn't make it out. That's sad. Stupid piece of paper. Okay, flap, flap, tab. Put this away. And we're ready to put him on the pedestal. All right, here we go. We've got him on the pedestal. And uh, let's take a look at the accessories. First, let me grab the box again. Okay, because this is what I was talking about, which, which was a disappointment. They all, all the figures come with uh, a die. Uh, Hank comes with a D8. Um, by getting all of them, you get, you're going to get an entire set of, of uh, gaming dice. But uh, he comes with a D8. The reason why I said it, I was a little disappointed was on the package, it was a translucent, either a translucent or a swirly red and black 
But I guess that's this is the same thing. It just doesn't have much black in it. I looked like it was translucent, but you know, it's fine. No, no big deal breaker. Uh, not that I'll probably use this uh, this this dice set anyway. But yeah, it comes with a a D8 that is solid red, and it's got a little bit of black swirly swirlies uh, throughout it. Set that aside. Then we have a bow, just a standard bow, uh, no bowstring, but uh, Hank used an energy bow in the animated series. So we have just a bow in the uh, wood color with a little bit of a little bit of detailing there on the handle and then uh, on the ends. Um, this uh, this I won't display him with, obviously, but I will use this with somebody. Uh, and then we have the same bow. Um, is it the same size? It is the same size. The same bow, but uh, with the energy effect on it. Uh, so this is the one, obviously, I'm going to display him with. This is all in translucent, uh, yellow plastic, uh, energy looking. Just looks exactly like it looked when he shot it in the show. Uh, exact same thing. Uh, but it is, uh, it's not a soft rubbery plastic, it's a semi-rigid plastic, plastic, uh, but in, in translucent yellow, I'm pretty sure that's the way it would go when he holds it. Uh, so that comes with him too, and then, then here's Hank. Let's get Mr. Ruler and measure Hank. He stands at, uh, approximately six and, between six and three quarters, and, or I'm sorry, five and three quarters and six inches tall. Uh, which is about right, because, you know, they're a teenager, he should be a little smaller. Uh, looking at the the sculpt, I mean, this is all fresh new stuff here, uh, and uh, by God, they did it. I mean, they nailed it. That looks like they just pulled him, they just reached into the TV and, like, pulled him right out. Um, nice detailing. You got the little... little uh, silver paint apps on uh on the uh sash here down on the tunic the bottom of the tunic little almost uh uh dalek balls <laughs> on the front uh but it looks looks really good the, the belt all in brown with the, the silver paint app buckle uh the olive green over like the forest green um Hank was a ranger, and they made him... We've got a little bit of a light olive green here. Uh, cuffs on the boots, some brown. Um, looking good. Uh, looking really good. Um, taking, a, taking a look at our articulation, uh, we've got... Looks like a... Yeah, we've got a ball going uh, on the neck, going into the upper torso, and then a dumbbell, I'm assuming. Um, I'm not going to try to pull that off. Uh, dumbbell in the neck going into the head, giving us uh, all the way around, um, pretty good down, not really any up. A uh, little bit of tilt on the arms. Uh, you can get them to come all the way up because there are slits in the side of the sash uh, on the top of the body, which actually looks like it would, no, it's glued down in the back. I was going to say you could pop that off. But uh, yeah, arms all the way out into a T formation with a shoulder hinge. Uh, and then we've got a uh, shoulder hinge, or uh, el I'm sorry, elbow hinge going up to there and uh, giving us a swivel there. And then on the wrist, we've got a swivel and no hinge on the wrist. Is there no hinge on that wrist? I guess there's no hinge on that wrist. Okay, that's weird. Uh, and then on the same on the uh, on the right, we've got a. Okay, there is an in and out. There is an in and out hinge, so there's probably an in and out hinge. It's just really covered by that sleeve. Uh, then at the waist, we've got a ball joint for some hula hoop and some waist swivel, which is good. Uh, legs all the way out to there. No drop down ball joint, but there is. Oh, there's no thigh swivel. Really? Uh, okay. Hmm. That's strange for Hasbro to do that. There's no thigh swivel. Okay. Uh, well, hmm. There is a double knee. Ooh, boy, that leg is tight. Urgh, there we go. Uh, double knee going back to there. Uh, not getting any 
any further than that. But there is, I just noticed, a boot swivel too. Uh, so I guess that maybe makes up a little bit for the lack of a thigh swivel. I can't believe they didn't put a thigh swivel on there. That's weird. And then uh, detents on the feet and a forward rocker. So, hmm. Interesting. Interesting. All right. So let's put his bow. Uh, the hands are not super, super, super rubbery, but um, we can get that bow in his hand. There we go. All right. Let's bend that arm up a little bit and then put it in there. Got to put it in from the front and spin it around. Hmm. A little difficult to get that in there. Okay, put that in. Put that in and spin it around this way. There we go. Okay, I don't know if we we're going to be able to get him into a firing position with this or not. Okay, and then where's the... There we go. Ah, huh. this does not... Uh... Does not let you get a very good... Okay, we're going to do this. Let's put the other one in on his, on his hand. Okay, there we go. All right. Huh. Um, yeah, the articulation kind of uh, limits you on getting this in a shooting position. So I'll have to work on that, but in, in the meantime, I'll just I'll have him right there. So uh, let's get him off the pedestal and line him up with some other characters and see how he scales up. All right, here we've got him with the Hasbro Star Wars, the Black Series, Return of the Jedi Deluxe Boba Fett, the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Retro Carded Storm Shadow, the Hasbro Marvel Legends Series Retro Hawkeye, and the Mattel DC Universe Classics Green Arrow. Uh, and to get at least three arrow guys in there, and then of course Boba Fett. Uh, all in all, I really like him. I like the look of him. I'm gonna have to give him a six out of ten. Um, yeah, no thigh swivel. Uh, you know, down on the double elbow. He's got double knees. I don't know why he doesn't have a double elbow. Uh, they kind of dropped the ball with the arms, especially the arms with articulation, and not being able to get him in a really good like. Uh, shooting an arrow pose, uh, that's kind of, hmm, I don't know. I don't know why they did that. I might try to maybe get him to hold it out straight and uh, hold it, like, horizontal and uh, see if I can do that. But, uh, yeah, you're kind of limited on the on the aiming articulation on that. But, you know, if you want to put him, put him up there with just, you know, just holding that, um, that would work. But, uh, yeah, with the energy bow, which is obviously what you'd want to display him with, you know, you're going to lack on that. So that'll do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Curse, smash that bell. You can get information on all the good things coming out of the Digitally Rebastard Network. You all have a great week and a great day. I'll see you next time. And until then, don't forget to get your figure on. Take care.